All right, everybody, welcome back to New York City. Welcome back to theCUBE. Come on inside. We are deep into MongoDB Local. Alan Chabra is back, Executive Vice President of Partners at MongoDB. Alvaro Salas, a Vice President, Global ISV Commercial Solutions, Microsoft. What do you guys do, Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> wow, everywhere. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Good to have you back, Alan. I see, I see, you know, we see the survey data every time I look at it. I literally, when I do comparisons, with other companies, I have to take Microsoft out of the data because it's just so, it, it skews everything. So you guys got tremendous well, momentum. Thank you for your uh, kindness. It's, it's been an amazing transformation and uh, it's, it's great to see all the investments that you're making. Give us the update, what's happening here at MongoDB Local, how's the show going for you? Oh, look, it's, it's been a fantastic day. I, we had the opportunity to talk to analysts this morning with uh, Deb, and now we're doing this interview. And then we have a great closing of the day with Alan and the team, so it's been great. Team is uh, on the booth, tons of interest from customer and partner, developers are fired up, so it's, it's been a great day, and we're very grateful for the invitation, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, Alvaro. So, okay, so ISV Commercial Solutions, what exactly is that, is your swim lane? Yeah, no, great, thank you for the question. So. Think about the way Microsoft go to market. We go to market around workloads that we call commercial solution areas. Infrastructure, data and AI, security, modern work, business applications. So our team works with engineering, marketing, and sales. Look at the long range plan, how ISBs can make that long range plan more successful. We come with a strategy of how do we engage with companies around the world, and we have the pleasure to lead the global relationship. That's how Alan and, and his team and my partner, day in, day out. I would ask you, we choose your favorite ISV, who's your favorite hyperscaler, but I won't. <laughs> oh, but we have to, you you have to we, love, we love them all, because you're make, putting so much investment and innovation into the industry, but the MAP uh, uh, initiative is, was the big news earlier this week. Obviously, Microsoft is a big part of that. Maybe you could talk about the, the, the work that you guys are doing together, any integrations that we should be aware of. Why should customers care? Yeah, maybe I'll start and Alvaro's going to talk more about the AI integrations. Um, first, why should Microsoft and Mongo partner? Our customers are so similar. We have many of the largest enterprises in the world that use MongoDB products on Azure. And it's important that we come together and offer them a fantastic service. And we've done that. Now, over the years, we've had our bumps. We've competed in some places. But the last 12 months between the two companies have never been better. I feel like the momentum between the partnership is growing. And it doesn't just start with our sales teams working together, it starts with those integrations. So we're a phenomenal, and uh, Alvaro reiterates, Azure Marketplace partner. We work very deeply with the marketplace, with the Azure portal. And then on the developer side, where most MongoDB starts, developers run the show for us. We've integrated with lots of the popular products that Microsoft has for developers, like Visual Studio, Power BI, Purview, Synapse, the whole fabric architecture. So, and then AI is an accelerant, and I'll hand to Oliveira to explain what we're doing together. And Microsoft done a really good job leading in the space of AI, especially with the large uh, language models. Thank you, Adam. So when you think about AI, and you know that we all know it's a, the most consequential technology of our times, our aspiration is to be sure that we democratize the impact and allow every organization and every person make the most, be more productive and be able to then be empowered to work in the most relevant opportunities or issues that they have. For, in order to do that, what we did is we took an approach on, on our framework, on our, as a platform company, with depth and breadth of offerings. Think about our research, partnership, investments, to be sure that we can have all the solutions that are possible for customers, so we can we can core them and support them in the multiple use cases all around the world. In that spirit, when you look at the the intent to transform and support the world transformation with AI, where do we start? What is the foundation of that AI transformation? Data. So customers need to have a modern a well-managed data state in the cloud in order to make the most out of the AI capabilities. And that's one of the big parts that we're working on. We want to be sure that Azure is the best place of your data. Big part of the offerings that need to be there, not only for Microsoft, it has to be for world-class companies like MongoDB, 
MongoDB address, part of those offerings, so people can have the data in Azure. And then our product integration, and the one that I like the most, is uh, our, our uh, semantic kernel and MongoDB Atlas, the vector search, because when you combine those two for a customer that is using MongoDB Atlas on Azure, then you can have a streamlined data management, you can have semantic queries that are very, very uh, effective that can help you feed AI applications. So that's the type of work that we're doing across the stack on AI. So when you talk about semantic, like I think semantic layer, so if I understand it correctly, where Microsoft and Mongo meet AI is at the data, and of course you've got in Azure, you've got all kinds of different data types. You obviously have document data, you guys have SQL Server, and, and, and your customers you know, using all kinds of, of different platforms. Are you saying that the, so the semantic piece of this, well, I, I, where, does, where does that fit? Are you able to take all these different incoherent pieces of data and then apply AI on it? Eventually, I'm envisioning co-pilots be able to act on it in a governed manner. Is that a vision that you guys are working on together, or am I like... That, look, I, I will say, at this point, we don't have anything new to disclose. Okay. But those two products are working together really nicely. The most important value that customers get today is that they have faster time to value. Right? We're simplifying the work. When you're a MongoDB customer in or Atlas in Azure, you can combine these technologies to the integration, you get faster response, you get better solutions, and you can fit and create your AI solution. There's a lot of opportunity that we have ahead, but there's nothing new to I mean, share. The beauty of it is, okay. I think you're back. No, I think you're on, I think you're on. So the beauty of it is, if you're a developer, and developers love using the Microsoft tools, if you're using a co-pilot from Microsoft, GitHub, uh, Copilot. It's trained on MongoDB. It's trained on MongoDB snippets. So developers, whether it's my 16-year-old son or a developer in a bank enterprise in Australia, they can use these products and write software faster knowing it's trained on MongoDB. And that's a really big leap forward for our partnership. And on the flip side, if you want to build a RAG architecture using Azure, using Atlas Vector, using OpenAI, that architecture is part of MAP. And you can go do that. And we have consulting partners, we do, that actually have helped customers go deploy this in production. So we started our partnership first at the data layer. Integrations across data, data layer leveraging the marketplace. It's now expanding into AI. And you're going to see lots of use cases in production coming in the days to come. Okay, how about the marketplace? Um, no. You're in the Azure marketplace. What's that look like? How's the momentum? What can you tell us? Well, what I can tell you, and it's a... Over the last six months, MongoDB has become one of the most successful partners in marketplace that we have. It's been, that's a reflection of great work on the offering, the engagement with marketplace and the quality of Atlas, MongoDB Atlas on Azure, of course, all credit to the team, but also a reflection of customer choice and customers seeing the marketplace as a great way to realize even more value from the partnership, right? If you're a customer, what do you see in the marketplace? You see that you have accurated this, of high availability solutions that are all in one place, great. Second thing that you see is that a very consistent way where you can procure those solutions from multiple parties, your favorite companies, companies you're working on today, different contracts, all coming into one place, one method, one approach with consistency and agility. And, and in the future, you will see even more combination and more value out of that. And then you, can, you have this, if you want to uh, explore new solutions, you know the quality, the audit, and the safety of the offerings that are in that marketplace because of the rigor of which we have for anything that gets to, the, to anything that gets to get published. Right? You get that as a customer. In certain occasions, as a customer, if you have a, a Microsoft commitment of consumption, you can have a, a financial benefit of taking that commitment and using that as part of the benefit that you get from procuring some solutions highly qualified for marketplace as well. So it's a, it's a whole value prop, financial, technical, security, and agility for cost. So I can apply whatever, some credits I could say, okay, I want to use them for Mongo consumption. Is that right? Or You could, for the, in, in the right case, you could use part of your Azure com consumption commitments and decrement those by uh, purchasing the marketplace solution that MongoDB Atlas. So that's one factor. Qualified. What do you attribute the momentum to, Alan? I think if you look at our how we uh, have a customer journey, customers, developers want to use MongoDB. 
They like using MongoDB. They then see, we help them see that. And then they see how it integrates with the other developer tools that Microsoft has, like, like Visual Studio. And they see that and they want to code applications faster. We then offer them, in many cases, a self-serve free trial on the Azure Marketplace, a PayGo. They try for free. And then they, if they want to get more of a production grade experience with support, okay. they can convert to paid and they can use the Mac that Alvero mentioned instead of using a credit card to procure. They then are happy, they're in production. Maybe their boss or the line of business sees, wow, I have 30 other workloads that could do the exact same thing. We then go to them and say, hey, would you like to do more of a larger enterprise type contract? Leveraging the marketplace, private offer, not self-serve with a Mac burn down, and then we're expanding across hundreds of workloads, and then it doesn't end there. Then when it comes to retention, customer wants to renew, they're more likely to renew because you're on the marketplace leveraging the Mac that you already had procured. So it's like a cycle from product-led sales to sales-led to renewal. Alvaro, take us inside, free the AI herd around the world. What was the conversation like inside of Microsoft? Were you guys saying, yeah, this could be pretty big. <laughs> Do you, have, do you have any inkling or sense as to the degree to which you were going to change, change the world? Uh, look, it, it's, a, it's a humbling question. I will say our leadership and technical strategies had an incredible vision on the opportunity and the size of the moment. I think that when you look at the speed on which the adoption and the depth has given us all in the industry, uh, humble, and also with a big responsibility on how do we step up and realize the opportunity and the need that you can see out there. It's pretty remarkable. And then same question, similar question from MongoDB. When you saw what was happening, you obviously responded. I mean, our little company too, too everybody had to, right? But so, but culturally you have to align resources for this new opportunity. There. Yeah. Was there ever any question or was it just go? Well, we had been working on our vector products yep. before Microsoft made the move, but I commend Microsoft for being the leader in taking such a big leap of faith with what their partnership with OpenAI, and it created a, an opportunity for customers as well as other partners to come on board. It almost was Microsoft was the accelerator to AI. They gave it a boost that was needed to show that it was real and then allowed us to all uh, work with Microsoft and other partners to go make these customer use cases. For example, we've been working on our vector products even before Microsoft made that investment. And, and as a result, you saw that, okay, wow, this is going to be a huge tailwind of for course, us because of now course. RAS because, becomes a possibility. Because customers are going to hear, are hearing about OpenAI, ChatGBT. Everyone knows what ChatGBT is, whether it's uh, your mother-in-law, your son, uh, or your, your, your little daughter. They have my, all my kids know about ChatGBT. And I give a lot of credit to Microsoft for educating the world about what AI could do for them. And you know, you think about how this changed the world, right? And AI, everybody says, most people believe we're going to see a new wave. Dave showed the waves this morning, a wave that's far exceeds anything we've ever seen. It's sometimes it's hard to envision what that's going to look like. What do you think it's going to look like, Alvaro? Well, you know, I don't, I don't want to speculate on that front. What I will tell you is the following. What I really appreciate and get inspired is the opportunity that we have in front of us today to help customers realize the opportunity on the realm of what is possible right now. And that opportunity by itself is so transformative and inspiring that it, it will keep us busy for a very, very long time, right? Think about how, how much friction you have still today for the complexity of embracing generative AI deeply? Do you have the right people? How is going to redefine process? How do you th think about your business functions? So much opportunity ahead. How so much more of the, the construct of the economy and the world that we could improve and help take to the next level generating so much goodness that it's, again, an incredible opportunity. It's, uh, we're in the moment of a lifetime here in the industry and we're putting our best foot forward with our partnership to be sure that we help customers the best way possible. And of course, thank you for that answer. And it doesn't happen overnight, right? It, we just sort of, it's almost like we wake up, look back and go, wow, <laughs> the world's changed. It's 
probably going to be a similar adoption rate this, this time around. Oh, this so. is why we came up with MAP. Um, when we went through the cloud migration, cloud modernization waves, which is still happening, by the way, yeah, right. and it, it hasn't stopped. Wouldn't it be great if partners and companies like Mongo prescribe recipes to our customers because we've done it before. That's what we're doing with AI. We're giving out these recipes, this map to help them do it. Will it be frustrating? Will some projects go wrong? Will some be great? I do agree with Alvaro. I think the it's going to be a long journey and I think we'll be more astonished by the outcome in a couple of years, but along the way we may get a little frustrated. I really think the outcome is going to be great, but I think there'll be a lot of frustration over the coming years. And let's see, what's next for Mongo? We've got the 23-city tour, 22 left. Oh, mm. no problem. No problem. And then for you guys, it's, you got Build coming up, right? you got Ignite. So yep. um, Ignite, I think, is going to be, uh, uh, am I correct? It's going to be upscaled this year more uh, 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 in person? Or did I? We, ha we, we, we will have more with customer feedback, very clear more in person, so we will have more opportunity to help. That's to what work. I heard, because I've been watching person. remotely, so looking forward to, that's a big show, Thank a lot you. of innovation. Uh, the co-pilot era we saw unveiled last year at Ignite. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. One plug on. yeah, please. So if you're a startup out there, not just the enterprise, you're a startup, go to Microsoft's Founder Hub. Atlas on Azure is showcased, featured there. We'd love that's to good. help you uh, in your journey, whether you're an AI startup, retail startup, FinTech, we've invested. Atlas on Azure is in the Startup Hub. That's our giving back to startups. Go try it out. You can find it online. All right, AIs, listen, and make, a short, make a short clip of that plug. Put that out on social media. Thanks, you guys. Really Thank appreciate you. you coming Thank on. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Alan. Thanks. All right, keep it right there. We're winding up the one-day live coverage of MongoDB Local. We'll be right back right after this short break. You're watching theCUBE.